Hello, I am Jonathan Beck, an artist, digital consultant, and fellow activist for Open Glam. I'm also the founder and manager of the nonprofit initiative Scan the World, which is one of the few things I'm here to talk about in the next five minutes. Since its inception in 2014, Scan the World has become a living ecosystem of over 18,000 3D printable, free to download 3D models. Every 3D scanned artifact has either been produced in collaboration with cultural institutions across the globe or through contributions from, strong, from a strong community of passionate individuals, created through harnessing open source software using the democratized process of photogrammetry. The collective effort is as much about renowned historical artifacts as it is about household antiquities with deep culturally significant roots. What we're creating is object-oriented narratives to provide context to our living archive, ensuring that takes precedence over profit or bureaucratic restriction. For museums, we provide a free 3D scanning service to help with the digitization and archival of the collection. In this, we run free workshops for internal staff and external visitors to get an understanding of 3D technologies. Our only condition is that you make the models available to download from Scan the World, which hopefully urges the topic of open glam into board meetings. We also provide free services for smaller institutions who do not have resources to open their collections. So where are we now? Fast forwarding to 2021 and the world seems pretty unfamiliar. The coronavirus pandemic has seen many of us staying inside without access to museums or cultural spaces. And like many others, we used this forced stasis as a means to reflect. And although I wasn't scanning in museums myself, it allowed me to slow down and focus on developing the Scan the World community. It's clear that culture is still as necessary as for humanity as ever, and lockdown highlighted this. To put this into context, from February to April 2020, we grew from 80,000 monthly downloads to 150,000. A lot of this traction is down to ensuring that we stuck to our core values of sustainability, purposefulness, inclusiveness, and freedom, and keeping our models free and open for anyone to download. Community should be a key word in every institution's mission statement. Your special collections are not special without the context given by the community. In addition to the Wikimedia Foundation, we have since partnered with Google Arts and Culture to aid in community growth and ensure maximum traction for our partners. The intention of this partnership will be to create a bridge to allow for further broadcasting of the collection, as well as implementing a new open source 3D viewer to be embeddable anywhere. The data is still owned by the museum and all download links are hosted through Scan the World. As previously mentioned, our focus is to create a level playing field of cultural artifacts, keeping the community engaged with the project and developing a shared sense of heritage. This bridge between the community and the institution is relevant within the themes of decolonization and fair use of museum collections. I have started putting this into practice by passing the baton onto two new initiatives, Scan the World China and Scan the World India. These people are given the control to work with local organizations to provide appropriate context to their own heritage. When you develop the trust of your community, the community wants to give back to the project. We're currently looking into crowdfunding, crowdfunding through My Mini Factory as a means to get the project into new areas, allowing the community to decide what collections we focus on next. Many of you are most likely aware of the newest money-making and environmentally catastrophic fad, NFTs. These non-fungible tokens seek to monetize artwork and museum collections through exploiting their metadata by making the artwork a unique digital asset. Though this begs to ask, why is it okay for Getty Images to sell versions of the Nightwatch? Although we've seen a couple of crypto projects being created from CC0 models, we are looking at novel ways to protect the 3D models in our collection. In an attempt to refresh the way that institutions think about their digital collections, we are pushing for, a, for creating a decentralized ecosystem that allows and empowers a community to build and give context to the content. As every, uh, every object tells the story, and Scan the World shouldn't be bound to one owner or one narrative. 
Every object comes from an original artifact, but it is also linked to the museum, an artist, a 3D print, a designer, photographer, writer, and so on. All of these are integral to the object's creation and purpose, so we aim to split the object's ownership into whoever has contributed or is related to the artifact. As the world of these technologies start to settle in the glam sectors, museums, we hope, will be able to consider the benefits of opening their digitized collections with the world. With 3D printed artwork sitting proudly in people's houses, museums are already finding their collections unlocked through the power of community. Looking to the future, heritage should not be reserved and interpreted by the lucky few. Instead, we should look to embrace digital and physical reproductions of collections to bring the narratives to the masses, encouraging knowledge to be disseminated by the people.